What's up? So we are going to, or we're about to go to the Austin Farmer's Market. We've been in Austin for a day now. Very eventful day. You will see throughout this whole video. But I'm excited to go to this farmer's market because I love Austin and I guess I like the Austin people <laughs> so far. So I'm ready to see what they have here to offer us. Let's go. Welcome to Brie and Herbs. So, as you can see, we are at the Austin Farmer Market. And I was really excited to go to this one, like I said, because I love Austin and I just really wanted to see what they had to offer. Just so you know, the longer this video is rolling, the hotter I'm getting. So, I'm probably gonna look like I'm beat because it was hot as outside oh my god but the first place we hit up was this tea spot and one of the things that I really loved was the magnetic tea holders that she had like she had a magnet she put it in a container for us to smell first of all I've never been to a tea place where they let us smell the tea before we buy it before we try it so she put a magnetic thing or, or a magnet <laughs> magnetic thing, a magnet on the tea container and then she had a wall to hold the magnets or the tea containers i thought that was cool the first one that i smelled it was like a sweet smell and the lady she actually made a lot like she was making <sighs> body oils and uh what is it called it's like tinctures um so yeah i thought that was pretty cool and this place i really wanted to get a bottle but honestly it was so hot i forgot to go back and get one because i i really love the way that they taste it um she had four different flavors as you can see here I tasted each one. My favorite one was the um, beet and cabbage. Yeah, <laughs> beet, fermented beet and cabbage. It's fermented dressings. That's what I forgot to say, fermented dressings. Okay, when she first told me that, I thought that sounded weird because usually when I think of, of food being fermented, I think of kimchi and kimchi is an acquired taste. So that's what I thought these dressings were going to taste like, but they were really, really good. I would definitely check them out if you're plant-based and you're looking for something to give you some probiotics and prebiotics and you just want to eat, you know, simple, simple. You can eat it. You don't have to take a pill, eat it every day if you want to. I think it's pretty cool. I never thought about that. And so far during this farmer's market at this point i was like yeah i like it here and mind you that thing was huge we didn't even go to the other side it was like a huge building uh as you could see it was like tents like i want to say it was like maybe 15 tents when we walked in or stands whatever you want to call them and then we turned and it was like eight more. And then there was a huge building that had maybe like 15 more. And on the other side of that building, it was more, I don't know how many, but it was hot. So we didn't go over there, we just left. Oh my God. 
y'all i haven't had brisket in so long and don't get me wrong even though i am vegan or plant-based or whatever you want to call it i loved meat i loved meat the only reason i stopped eating meat is because it wasn't working for my body it wasn't working for me but this right here this shit right here nigga this shit right here nigga right here this shit nigga this shit here it tasted just like brisket and i tell people all the time it is not the meat that's giving it the flavor it's the seasonings it's the herbs that's giving it that flavor so you can make anything taste like meat like when they say stuff tastes like chicken it's because they're using the same seasonings that they put on chicken yeah anyways this stuff was so good um he said that the brisket, if you want to try it, is going to be in Central Markets. That's the only one I can remember because there's a Central Market not that far from me. So it's going to be in Central Markets. The barbecue sauce that he put on there, though. Oh, my, oh my God. It was so good. He didn't say that it was going to be anywhere soon, but I'm definitely going to be looking out for it. I would say give it a try. And then he made this slaw. It's a vegan slaw. I feel like it's like a different taste. It's like the kimchi that I was talking about. It's a different, it's a different taste, but I like tasting different things and I like giving it tr a try multiple times. It wasn't nasty, but it was like, okay, I'm gonna have to get used to this. But that brisket, it was made out of beans. Just for your information, it was made out of beans and it tasted just like some beef. All right, so like I said, it was super hot, super hot. So after I tasted that brisket, I was, I was ready to pass out. Like, <laughs> I we were sweating. I don't know if you saw it on the camera, but we were really sweating. And um, <laughs> my brother, he got this drink. I don't even remember where he got it from, but he got this drink and he thought it was disgusting. So we went to go find some juice. I was seeing these big cups that people were having with some fresh lemons and limes in there. So I was like, okay, we gotta find that spot so I could get him something to drink. Um, and when we got there, it was a long ass line. This is me standing in line, pretending like I was gonna sit there and wait to get a drink. And this is the long ass line. <laughs> um, we didn't get it at that point because Donovan wanted to go somewhere else to get a drink. He wanted to try this company's called Soko that you can see right here. That was a huge bottle too, but it was basically ginger ale with watermelon flavor. And if you've tasted natural ginger ale, you know that is good. It's not as sweet as the store-bought ginger ale, but it's really good, it's good for your body. Um, I'm pretty sure I have a recipe on my Instagram. I don't know, but if you want the recipe and you wanna learn how to make it, I'll let you know. Just comment below. Anyway, so we ended up going back to the citrus place and we got these huge cups. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just let this video explain it, how I felt, how we felt after drinking this. Cause that was so, Austin Farmer's Market, I just want you to know that we will be back. So this last place, I think this was my favorite stand to go to, mainly because I am always down for helping a nonprofit. I'm always down for helping individuals help themselves, if you get what I'm saying. So just to explain, it's called Simple Promise. 
and or simple promise gardens actually farms here we go it's right here i have a card so simple promise farms and ranch house recovery yeah so the ranch house recovery is the nonprofit. it's for recovering addicts or a um rehabilitation center that's what the ranch house recovery part is and then for the simple farms what's what they do is they teach them how to farm they teach them how to grow fruits and vegetables and then they go to to not dallas go to austin farmers market and they sell but really they're not selling it's a donation thing so they have all of their produce out but you can donate or you cannot donate i think most people donate obviously i donated two dollars to get this beautiful baby watermelon it was so delicious and this guy actually gave me a flower he was i think he was just trying to get rid of the flowers but it was a really pretty flower too and they were so sweet the guy we was talking to i wish him nothing but the best because he was a cool dude yeah i like austin a lot <laughs> um i really hope you enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed this farmer's market this was my favorite one so far we still have two more to go to and i'm excited for both of them um remember health is wealth and i hope to see you back again watching my next video i hope you've learned something i hope you visit austin go to their farmer's market and yeah that's about it <laughs>